Thursday, October 8th. Got in the stand pretty early this morning, about quarter after six. Um, I knew it'd still be dark, but yesterday I had a buck come in underneath me right before light. So I wanted to make sure I was in early this morning. On the last night, didn't see anything, a couple of dough on the way out, but it's about 45 degrees out right now. It's just getting light out and uh, it's foggy. But we're gonna sit for a couple hours this morning and see what happens. And, um, I looked and I had some new pictures on my trail camera. Not sure what they are yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna pull my memory card when we get done today and see what comes through. Just not seeing a lot, a whole lot during the day, but hopefully this cool weather will bring them out. So we'll see. I got the wind blowing right in my face, so seems like a pretty good morning. Hopefully, deer will be up and moving. It's cool out. About eight o'clock, been in the stand for about two hours. Just had a nice buck come through. Uh, I think it's at seven point I've had on camera. Uh, I know the film's kind of quick. The leaves are kind of wet this morning. He come in pretty quiet. I didn't see him until he was right there, but uh, he come up and started working this scrape. <clears throat> I was at full draw on him for, seemed like forever. He was working a scrape and just wasn't giving me a shot. He finally uh, put his head down and turned a little bit. Uh, pretty sure I made a good shot on my watch of footage. He ran off, but it didn't sound like he ran real far. Um, I didn't get a complete pass through, I think, with him quartering away. I got behind the shoulder and then I probably hit the opposite shoulder on the way through, so I didn't get a complete pass through, but it looked like I got real good penetration on him. Um, I'm going to give him a little bit, just to be safe, uh, probably give him an hour or so, uh, just kind of hang out for a little bit, but I'm pretty pumped up, uh, I just have to see, I'm, I'm anxious, but he come in, you know, 20 yards and gave me the shot, so I knew I've had these bucks coming in and working these scrapes at night, and I figure if they can just, I just need one chance for them to come in during the day. And uh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew if I'd stay in the stand that it would happen. And uh, it did. So I'm pretty pumped out. <clears throat> I was going to pack everything out. But the fox started to lift. And I looked out and I could see him in there. He's dead. I don't know. 40 yards from the stand. <laughs> it's a big seven. Yeah, he's a real good buck. October 8th, down in Armstrong County. I uh, just shot this nice seven point. He uh, been having pictures of these bucks uh, for a while now, coming in, working scrapes and that, doing everything at night. It was nice and cool out this morning, and I figured eventually they gotta they gotta mess up once and show up in the daylight. Well, he did. About eight o'clock, he come down the skid trail. Started working a scrape in front of me, 
footage is pretty short, but <clears throat> he uh, leaves were kind of quiet, and I didn't really see him until he was out on top of me. But uh, shot him here on, he didn't run, 40 yards, and I uh, thought I heard him crash. It was kind of foggy out. When the fog started, I was going <clears> to <throat> back out and head down to the truck, pack some stuff out. The fog started to lift, and I, could, I looked over, and I could see a white belly. He was piled up. Um, Shot him, <clears throat> rage two blade. Uh, got him pretty good. He's a pretty big body deer. He uh, kind of goofy. He got G2s all messed up here, and, but he got a nice hole back in his antler there. Got some character to him, something different. It's starting to grow a tine there. Got pretty happy with him. He's a goofy looking rat, but I'll take him. Get him out of the woods, got a pretty good drag ahead of me. It's Thursday morning, so most people were at work, so be flying solo here, getting him out of the woods, but well worth it. Okay, there he is. We finally made it to the truck. It was about an hour drag. Had a, about a mile down out of there, I was dragging by myself. Good Samaritan stopped, checked the buck out, helped me load him up in a truck. I appreciate it pretty well by the time I got in the truck. So, but we're gonna get him home, get him cleaned up. He's got some mud and that in him, and go show him off a little bit. I know some guys want to see him and show the family and that. So we're gonna get him home, get him cleaned up, and show him off. <laughs> 